Hello everyone in Cyber World, welcome back to another video. I'm Richard, also known as Poor Man. And I'm Jennifer, also known as Mrs. Poor Man. Today we're coming to you from Cayenne Point. Uh, we're going to introduce our video from here. And this week we're going to be working on Hanko stamps. If you enjoy our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Hello everyone, we're here in Hiroshima. Uh, this building behind us we're actually going to be visiting. Uh, it's going to help us, uh, they're going to teach us how to make a kanko, which is a Japanese stamp. In Japan, the stamps are actually used for official signatures instead of writing it on a pen. So you have to take very good care, for care of it. Uh, they're registered within the country. Um, you use that stamp to withdraw money and everything else like that. So people really have to secure this. If somebody else steals your stamp, they can actually go to the bank, stamp your name, and, and uh, go with it. The idea of what we have is maybe we can learn some carving and use those skills that we might learn here to apply to some of our woodwork. So let's go take a look at what we can do. The first step was to draw the character on a piece of paper. We will explain the characters at the end of the video. We then cut out the image we drew. and taped it on the end of the stone block. Next, the block was clamped securely in a vise and we traced over the character. When this was done, we removed two pieces of paper from the block. The first was already on the block and it turned out to be a piece of carbon paper, so when we traced the image, the image was transferred onto the block. Then the carving began. This actually took a considerable amount of time, but it was a lot of fun. We were told to press into the stone little bits at a time instead of trying to draw or trace the lines. When we finished, the professionals did some minor touch-up to ensure the stamps worked properly. The characters we chose represent the first syllable of our first names. I used an ancient version of my character. Since each hunko is unique, I used a circle for the top of the character instead of a square, but the instructors approved and they liked the originality. We hope you enjoyed the making of our hunkos. Next week, we're going to uh, try to make a poor man's version of garage cabinets. So until then, bye-bye.